Welcome back to Pure Science Education. I apologize for the delay you had to have uh, when no videos were published. So I'm back again. Uh, today, the purpose of the lesson is to look at wiring a three pin plug. Um, so we're going to be identifying what the three pin plug looks like, what the function of each part is, and why it's important of the earth wire in a plug. So uh, you will over already have seen what a three pin plug looks like in a house so they're all around all your electrical appliances um, so we're going to look at different features of these um, so first of all if you look in the three pin plug you will find three different color wires the brand wire is live that carries the potential difference the voltage from the mains it is also connected to the fuse um, i'll talk about the fuse in a bit and the blue wire is the neutral wire um, it completes the circuit for the appliances and then you got the yellow and green which is your earth wire for safety and um, that becomes the appliance stop, um, from stop becoming live which means it can't catch fire now how do we stop appliance catching fire so in the plug you also have something called a fuse um, the life wire is connected to a fuse which will break if the current is too high so if you have an appliance that has a current of 10 amps going through um, then you need to make sure the fuse you choose is of a lower um, amps so in if you can see in the first example um, with the 10 amps fuse because you go 13 amp to the 10 amps going through the plant you go 13 amp fuse the wire doesn't break that means this um, is not going to save your plants and the plants will catch fire because why they melt but if you look at the second example we go to 20 amps um, going through the appliance um, because you had a 13 amps fuse it broke that means the appliance won't catch fire and the circuit will break so fuse is really really important in order for you to save the appliance exploding or catching fire because what will happen is once the fuse does break you'll have a gap in the circuit and then it'll change into incomplete circuit uh, and the current can't flow now what does the inside of a plug look like inside of a plug has a three different wires we it just explained it has a um, cable gripper to make sure the wires remain in place it has an outside insulation that's the wire you normally see when you plug your appliances in now uh, the question that comes up in the exam is why you have um, your casing made out of plastic and not metal uh, because plastic is an um, insulator, it is a poor conductor of electricity so when you do plug in the appliance it doesn't uh, conduct electricity uh, and doesn't electrocute you so it's like a safety um, net. Um, now it's really important that you recognize the positioning of the three wires so you got the neutral, uh, the earth, and then the life. So uh, in terms of exams, you can be asked to label them where they are or draw them, um, recognize where the fuse goes and the cable grip and outer insulation. So these are the key features you will need to know. So a really quick thing through this, um, you might get a question that looks like this, um, and then you can talk about it in terms of a revision. Thank you for listening.